down here with this thing. Ready for this hike? Heck yeah, I am. Can't Let's wait. get it. Let's get it. So peaceful. So we got about three and a quarter mile to go that way. Let's start. You guys beat us. Welcome back to Ridgeline Adventures California. Today we are at a yellow post site and today we are going to be chilling, relaxing and setting up our uh, camp systems. Um, hopefully we have uh, enough time to do everything, show you guys a lot of stuff. But I'm with Brett today. Uh, you guys remember him from the Mount Wilson Trail which we had a great time so we're gonna have another great time. So let's go ahead and uh, get our stuff going get our um, our uh, sleeping systems all set up and then uh, let's go roam around see what we could get into hey guys this is uh Brett Wilson just letting you guys know my tent situation it is a one person lightweight backpack tent only meant for one person I haven't really tried this out yet and I cannot wait to try it and tell you guys how I feel about it and also I got a four 4.8 inches sleeping pad for my sleeping bag so I will not uh, get cold on the bottom of the ground it will contain my heat for me and uh, can't wait to try it Alright guys, so while Brett is finishing up doing the inside of his uh, sleep system, I'm going to start on mine. It'll be the first time I've uh, put up my tarp uh, as a top shelter because we do expect rain tonight. Uh, about 20% tonight and then about 60% in the morning. Uh, so let's uh, look at some of the gear that I brought along for uh, my sleep system. So first we have my uh, free soldier hammock uh, it's a single person hammock and I really enjoy it so uh, we'll go ahead and set this up actually um, we'll set this up first uh, let's do that and uh, see how it goes and after I'm done setting this up we'll go ahead and uh, set up the DD uh, tarp uh, it's a three meter by three meter um, and that'll be my first time doing it so wish me luck on it So when I'm setting up this uh, hammock, I got to make sure that it only has one door. So I want to make sure that I put this door so that I can get in and out uh, easier. Because uh, behind me here, I have a, um, a bush with some little pokies on it. And uh, I definitely don't want to get poked trying to hop out of my tent in the middle of the night if I need to use the restroom. I think I'm just leaving. 
So I have it up right now, but you can kind of see how it's drooping down. Me personally, I like to have my uh, hammock as uh, level as possible. Uh, just works out for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just tighten up this uh, side over here and uh, see how close to perfect we can get it. All right, we got our uh, our hammock up, so let's go ahead and sit in it and uh, test it out. Hopefully, I don't fall. Oops. All right, this looks good to me. Let's go ahead and uh, try and set up the tarp. All right, guys. So for my uh, my tarp setup, I do have some 550 paracord. Um, I don't remember if this is 100 or 50 feet, but it's more than enough between these uh, trees here. But what I do have on here is uh, some. Uh, I think they're called pressic knots in order to tie off for my um, my tarp. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna guy save you guys the grief of watching it and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this up and then I'll bring you guys back in with us. All right, so let's check out Brett's setup. He's got his new sleeping pad with his um, uh, sleeping bag on there. He's got the outside over on the other side uh, staked out for the wind, because as you guys can hear, it is starting to get windy. Windy. Now let's make our way over to my makeshift tarp setup that I was talking to you guys about. Uh, it, unfortunately, the tarp is way too big for the tree span here, so it is not the prettiest tarp setup ever but it's going to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. I got uh, some parts here that are staked out. I have my ridge line that goes up and across. And then I have another stake out over here. Let's go underneath and check it out. Oh, and we're inside. And it is not windy in here. So, that is really good. So we are going to go out and uh, explore a little bit and uh, see if the river is coming down and uh, we'll get back with you guys. All right guys, so um, we collected a bunch of firewood, uh, which is over here. I'll show you guys that later on. But uh, we are a little bit hungry, so we're gonna be cooking up some lunch. Um, Brett is gonna be eating some Mountain House um, chicken teriyaki, and then I'm gonna have some uh, spicy noodles. And uh, we'll get back to you guys once we're done eating and um, see what else we can get ourselves into. How are you liking the food, Brett? Really good. And what is that one? Uh, teriyaki with chicken. Nice. And then I have my noodles, spicy noodles, which are going to be bomb. But uh, yeah, once we're done eating, we will hang out, probably process, process a little bit more of that firewood uh, for tonight and get ready because those clouds are rolling on in.
clouds are coming. They're a coming. All right, guys, it's been a long day. We're done with our little fire that we had. Um, we're really tired, so we're gonna call it an early night. And um, hopefully it doesn't rain tonight, but if it does, I will chime back in with you guys. And um, I'll see you guys in the morning.